Welcome to Mist. I'm Coach Nikita, and this is lesson number 28 of Green Ball. Let's go into overheads technique. There's four different overheads. Number one, out of the air. Number two, off the bounce. Number three, scissor kick. Number four, backhand overheads. Um, let's just talk about the first two, out of the air or off the bounce. Um, how do we uh, practice in the beginning? First, we don't need a racket, so we're going to put it down. You can do this with an athlete, uh, with uh, have athletes pair up and just toss the ball right out of the uh, right across the nets and have them catch the ball in this nice strong position here, like this. Okay, so let's just say ball is coming in, and I. Oh, wait, fail, and I catch, okay? That's it, th th that's all you need to do. Notice I haven't fallen to the left, I haven't fallen to the right, backwards, I'm not leaning in forward, I'm nice and stable, one more. Good, I'm just right here, just stop, okay? And that's what we want to see, fantastic. Afterwards, in order to really, really get down to seeing the ball, because uh, uh, most likely uh, young athletes uh, really just kind of like when they, when they swing at it, they hope to hit it as opposed to actually seeing it. Okay, so they rely on their previous experience that most likely it will hit, but they don't actually see the ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a racket. You're going to have your athletes toss to another athlete but the other athlete has to punch the ball into the air like so oh fail let's try again good so notice the ball went directly up uh, and sort of I hit it square okay right on top of it uh, most likely young athletes will skid the ball okay uh, and unable to actually uh, make direct contact you want to try to be able to make direct contact this way they understand they they really see it you can you can get down really close and try and get that contact okay fantastic next thing we're actually going to um, start uh, hitting the ball okay how we're gonna do that we're gonna choke the racket and we're just gonna stop at contact We're going to use the uh, previous lessons technique, the first uh, serve, to uh, hit this ball. So I'm going to see a little bit of a, uh, a pronation and internal rotation of the shoulder. Okay, so very simple. Ball's coming in. And you just stop. Okay, you just stop there. Everything is stopped. You've gotten behind the ball. Okay, so. Um, what does it mean to get behind the ball? Well, you're slightly moving forward to hit the ball, okay? You're not moving back to hit the ball. You're not moving to the side. You've stopped the feet and you're moving forward, okay? And that is it. Then you can use the choking of the racket to do the exact same thing. Again, work with your athletes or work, work with, uh, or have a young athletes work together. I mean, they can, they can do this themselves. Fantastic. What's next? Next is uh, hitting out of the, uh, off the bounce, okay? Uh, most likely off the bounce shot will be done near the service line or behind the service line. This is really high ball. Um, and this shot, as opposed to the out of the air shot, well, let's actually go back and talk about the out of the air shot. Uh, when you're working out of the air shot, first you're working down the line, or more like just put it in. Then you're working down the line. And then the actual out of the air shot should be creating angles. Okay? You're trying to create angles. We've discussed angles before uh, in tennis, but uh, for now, let's just go generally in the direction of either the forehand or the backhand. Okay? But really, we're looking for angle three. Fantastic. Next. Uh, let's go forward to the out of the air, uh, uh, off the bounce overhead. Off the bounce overhead, somewhere over here. Same thing, you stopped. You're moving slightly forward, one shuffle, 
and you're hitting the shot basically straight down the middle. I mean, this is really what you want to hit right now. Uh, we don't want to be making angles from there. Uh, we're just trying to get back in the point. Most likely, we're, we're not going to be able to hit like Nadal, which I think personally has one of the best overheads in, in the, in, in the, on the tour. <laughs> but anyway, um, next, the uh, scissor kick overhead. Uh, this is not going to come in until later um, once they move up to yellow ball. And lastly, backhand overhead. Also, we're not going to do this. Uh, in fact, uh, backhand overheads should not be. I don't think there's a reason to do it un un until uh, until you're way in the adult uh, stage of the game. Okay, uh, fantastic. So that's the technique. Practice again. Choke. Uh, how do we start? Tossing, uh, catching, just uh, in front. Um, next, you're gonna use the uh, watching the ball carefully, choke the racket afterwards, and just stop lightly, or more like lightly tap the ball. Don't really hit it too hard. Use the whole grip, start adding a little bit of power. Uh, now, uh, then you're gonna do uh, off the bounce, okay, overhead. Fantastic. So that's the progressions. Practice them. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.